Hi, I'm Terry with Terry Hound Associates. I'm out looking at some of the properties that will be included in our next online auction. This particular property is a USDA foreclosure. It's in an absolute auction, sells to the highest bidder regardless of price. This particular home is located at 184 Ivy Drive Northwest in Calhoun, Georgia. This is a three bedroom, two bath home. It has about a half a basement and I'll move over. You can see the garage door, that's part of it. And then there's enough for maybe another car in there. And it's deep, it goes from front to back of the house. A real nice storage area. Somebody's added a room there and I'll show it to you. As I uh, went through this house, um, first thing I noticed it's kind of a sloping lot, which is fine, it'll be okay. Uh, it does slope off on the back and we'll show you that. Also, um, the walls and the condition of the house are pretty good. There's one uh, flaw in the back bedroom, I'll show you that. And uh, we, and it, it's gonna need some carpet and paint. But besides that, it's a pretty good little old house and I like it. Uh, it seems to be in a good location, nice quiet street. Uh, two homes across the street are well cared for. I think you're gonna find this to be a good house, a good investment, and somebody's gonna buy it regardless of price. So let's head on inside and we'll take a quick look. Okay, here we are. We've just stepped inside the front door and one of the things that came to my attention is just the walls need just to be wiped down, a little prep for paint and paint. And then uh, carpet's pretty dirty, might not be your choice. You could change it out. They did leave uh, window treatments in a lot of the windows, so those can be uh, recycled for your use. And it looks like somebody has put in some later model um, ceiling fan and light here. This one, this particular one is missing two of the little flutes over the bulbs, but it does look to be later model. So somebody was doing some work here, and I think you'll notice that in the kitchen also. So let's take that uh, area in next. I'm going to uh, stop right here at the dinette area. Again, a later model fan it looks like and some newer flooring here in the kitchen. So I don't know if it's put in the same time on the carpet, but I believe that flooring will just shape right up. And then we do have our uh, kitchen area. There's no appliances, but again, they changed out the light fixture. I'm sure that's not original to this house. And these are pretty nice cabinets. I believe if they had put a different countertop on, it really would have made this kitchen pop. Um, they've taken out the appliances. There are no appliances here with the house. And I think that place under the cabinet is probably where a microwave was wired. And then we have a little uh, pantry right here. And on the other side, it's divided as a closet for a uh, coat closet, I'd call it. All right, we're going to head down um, the hallway. But I do want to point out one more time, these rooms are nice. Just a little prep for paint, clean. The ceilings are in great shape. Really look good and clean. So not a whole lot to do in these two rooms except maybe paint and put down some carpet. And you make it clean that carpet. I don't know that much about carpet cleaning. All right, I'm going to uh, head down the hallway. We'll skip the first door. That goes to the basement. And one thing here in the hall, notice good ceiling, good walls, and that modern light fixture. All right, this first bedroom, the same carpets throughout the house, so they did put in a new light fixture. Walls are a little dirty, just wipe them off maybe and prep a few nail holes where they had some pictures and things. This is not a hard house. It's going to be easy. Looks pretty good to me. All right, I'm going to step in here. This is the bath. I didn't bring my little light, but you can see pretty good, I think. Um, nice little cabinet. Has a tub shower combo right over here. Some extras. Good ceiling in here. All right, another um, bedroom. This one's kind of large, or larger. And again, we're going to, it looks like they've just painted the walls because there's a little touch of purple I call it. They didn't cover up so looks like they were starting to paint in here and, and remodel this house. 
couple of uh, spots on the wall. Might want to replace the uh, doors of this room. Little entry door, but a good ceiling. Looks pretty nice. I like this room. And uh, so far, this house is going to be easy. Paint and carpet, clean paint carpet. All right, now here's where we had a little flaw I was talking about. And I don't really understand it, but um, this is on the back right hand corner. No, excuse me. If you're facing the house, it's on the back left hand corner. It could be a gutter stopped up. It could be a tree limb. I don't know what caused that leak. But when you look at the front of the house, the roof doesn't look that bad. The rest of this room is fine. But that's going, you're going to have to solve that water problem and put up a couple of sheets of sheetrock. Besides that, this room's ready to go. I don't know, I can't, the lot slopes off and I can't see the roof in, at that point from the yard. Maybe you could climb that uh, poplar tree right there and see what it's about. Okay, this is our second bath. It has about the same decor as the other one. It does have that tile, it's out of the kitchen. So, this is a pretty nice house overall. Just a minor flaw and paint, put down some carpet. Pretty good house. All right, I'm gonna go around in the backyard. We're gonna look at it a little bit. Did want to make note of this area right here. Um, this door was one you saw out the side of the house between the kitchen and the little family area. And they put in a little picnic area here and this area is fenced needs cleaning up. Those rock, well, I'm going to show you the other side of that rock wall and there's a set of rock steps that comes up here from the backyard. Surprise, I forgot about the basement. So let's do it before we go to the backyard. You can see how well insulated the house is. Now that's a garage door, room for a car. And then over here is a room that's been added in, um, closed in downstairs. and. I don't know what the purpose of it was, but you can use it or not use it, whatever. I didn't bring the light, I can't show you inside, but this is a remainder of the basement. We'll just take a quick swing around. And like I said, it looked like there was some work in progress here at this house. And this stuff here, it goes with the house if you buy it. I guess it was left by the former owner. But the house is in a, Good shape, except for that one corner of the roof. I didn't, I didn't quite get it with uh, based on the rest of the house. I'm gonna try to look in that room. Okay, we can see a little bit in here. They put a ceiling in it, some light fixtures. Not sure what it was used for. Still has a concrete floor, but and it looks like it had a window air conditioning in it. May have made a man cave out of it or something. All right, now we'll go to the backyard. Okay, I'm uh, back here in the back. Not very level, I don't think. And I'm looking at that rock wall I was telling you about below the picnic area. Let me see if I can zoom in just a little bit. Somebody made a really nice set of steps that go up into that picnic area. It's pretty nice. Okay, the lot slopes and it, it may be a creek down there. I don't know. There's a boat down there. I don't know what that story is about or if it's even on our lot. But I did want to show you right up here above us. That's that corner of the house. It looks like those tree limbs and that gutter stopped up. Maybe if we, maybe that tree limb rubbing there rubbed a hole in the shingles or something. If you look at the front of the house, it wouldn't be that they should be worn out but you'll have to get up there and examine that and that's going to have to be taken care of. But real nice and quiet and private back here. That fence on the right side continues down in the woods and I know y'all want me to hike down there but I don't think I will. But pretty nice house. I like this place and I would vote for it. So you can make a winner out of it but you have to bid to buy it. Okay, there you have it, 184 Ivy Drive, Northwest in Calhoun, Georgia. We're gonna wrap this house up, head on to the next one, but before we do, I just wanna add a few tips. Remember, this is online only. 
all bidding's on the internet. Nobody will be here at the premises to take your bid. Also, read your contract package. Everybody has questions. We try to put the answers, uh, most every question we can anticipate in that package. And so read it over, look it over. If you don't understand something, that's fine. We're there to help you. Call us on the phone. Our number's at the bottom of the screen. Or you can uh, send us an email, info at terryhow.com. I think this is a great little house. It's a great opportunity to buy uh, real estate at a price you set yourself, and that's what an auction is. So I'll see you one more time, terryhow.com. That's the location. I'll see you at the auction.